nice talking to you. But I really think it's so nice. Ugh, I hate that. They really made her look like Chucky's child. You sick, but what the hell are you thinking? You know how sick I am if I owed him you? I mean, if I owed you to hell! <clears throat> okay. Hello, what's up, my little screen babes? Today we're going to be watching. Today we're going to be watching. How it's funny. I thought my microphone went off for a minute. Um, that's it. We're going to be watching your house. Bunny. You know what? I I need... What do you need? What do you need? My girl Anna to come back into like this... Into comedy. Okay? She needs to come back into mainstream. Because I miss her. I miss Anna. <laughs> I grew up with so much of her shit, it was just ridiculous. And we're just gonna get in to the movie. I don't know why I feel like I need to say stuff when I don't. And I realized like the late 90s and early 2000s, the way that their movies were framed was kind of like square, long square, and not like a box, <laughs> box kind of square, it was like more like a long square a lot of the movies are like that but now it's not really like that there's not too much uh, like the black space shut your unnecessary ass up Colombiana is it Colombiana or is it Columbi? Columbi? Bia Bia every time I see Bia 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 Happy Madison. Terrific. It all started 27 years ago. I love her voice. That's me in the basket. Yeah. I guess somebody didn't want me. I hear they did want the basket back, though. I know what guys want. This is like a cute ass beginning. It actually makes like wanting to be a playboy seem fun. I'm sure it's probably is fun in real life, but like I heard some sh about you Hefna. Like it, it, it sounds like it would be a fun thing, but also very like catty and not great because there's like a bunch of girls in one house and we're seeing how a bunch of girls in one house goes bad girls club it does not go great but it seems like it would be fun and they make Good it morning, seem fun Cooter. you're looking dapper. dapper oh the cat's so cute your blueberry french toast is ready oh ooh la la that's french right yeah yeah, yeah i think important than the food i actually added something to your orange juice Oh, Marvin, thank you so much for telling me. Usually I don't find out until much later. Oh, no, to add zest to the drink, first I put in some vanilla extract and, of course, some egg yolks. Okay. And then I have a secret ingredient. All right, you twisted my arm. It's chili powder. Oh, wow. Yeah. It just explodes your taste buds, so the drink just envelops your mouth. Oh, I love having my mouth enveloped. Like people discovering seasoning. Dear Shelly, oh my gosh, it's me. Yes. Wait, there's more. Please move out of the mansion immediately. Oh, Pooter, go with Shelly, buddy. Uh, Pooter. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, well, Is that a real cat? Uh, Did it get a real cat to do that? On his real ass skin? <laughs> like, I have been scratched by a cat. It hurts. It's painful. Having the claws in your skin. It's moving like a real cat. Attached to his skin. That sh hurts. Oh my god, the music that they have in this. Nostalgia. I love every one of them. Oh my god, I love this. I'm just like Open literally watching movies that I grew up with and loving everything about it. Well, some movies that I grew up with. Bound, Set It Off, those movies I grew up with when I was like 
uh, preteen to teen. She looks so pretty though, like Barbie pretty. Do you look like an older, sluttier version of the type of girl we would want? But I'm sorry, you're not a student. It was so nice talking to you. But I really think it's so fun. nice. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> I believe that. Every and I hate this. Yeah. Should be. I'm sorry. This is a sorority, not a brothel. A brothel? Oh, I'm not looking to make soup. <laughs> I'm looking to be like you. We have standards. Standards that you clearly do not meet. But it was nice to meet you. But I just. Oh, so on. nice. <laughs> have a hate though. But like, I'm surprised that they actually told her what they do there. I thought they would have been like snout, like just like rude from the from the get go. But they were like actually like. Yeah, this is what we do. Which is movie logic, because if it was real life, they wouldn't even f out her. They'd be like, get out of my f house. Why are you here? You guys have not met your requirements for three years running now. And I'm under a lot of pressure from other sororities, complaining that we're bending the rules for you. By, by, by other sororities, do you happen to mean Phi Iota Mu? <laughs> Phi Iota Mu to hell. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking love this movie. Just a couple of small pictorials. Girls of the Midwest, girls of GEDs, girls of Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. No, oh my god, he's going viral on TikTok about his drugs. He's like, if there's if there's drugs in the house, <laughs> you buying any, better give it to me. <laughs> oh my god, the fact that I just watch a bunch of movies. Well, not a bunch. I watched like two other movies in this that's just like relatable of today like stuff in it i could link it to the tapes like to today's that's going on yoga's hot so are you a zeta oh i wish yeah i do too because uh zeta would be my new favorite hizzity hang oh please stop she's our new hizzity house mother she'll be hizzy tizzy She'll be here all the time. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am just so happy that you guys want me here. You are not gonna be sorry. So this is how- yeah. Movies of the time, <laughs> okay? This movie was like amazing back in the early 2000s where we didn't talk about- Well, people did talk about it, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now talking about, you know, boys being boys and how wrong that is in society and in- and in- and inflicting that into boys that will become disgusting men because they think that it's okay for them to be like that because their mother and their father and everybody else say that, well, it's okay for you to act like an asshole. And this movie is kind of misogynist. You know, it has some feminist aspect in it, but it is misogynist and it is very much male gaze. But it also, I think it kind of balanced a little bit, you know? It was very much male gaze, very much. But also the friendship and the founding family plotline in this is a little bit, it's just like, I think it balanced both male gaze and female gaze. I might be wrong, but that's just my opinion. I, like, guys could enjoy watching this movie because there's a bunch of hot women in it. You know, they dumb it down and they play stupid. And, but females could enjoy this because, well, again, there's a bunch of hot women in this. <laughs> and it's all about friendship and f womenhood. And, like... But, but the way it was, you know, having to look pretty and all of this and all girly stuff. And it's funny as hell. But imagine if they made a movie like this today. It would not be received well. See, so movies represent the times. It does. It really represents the time. Because movies from early 2000s, when you watch it in like... 2020 or 2021, 20, 22, 23. When you watch it in these times and they're from like the early 2000s and then you realize like how many that we don't accept anymore, kind of. <laughs> we're, we're against, you know? People still do it and we're just like heavily against them now. You realize how nobody cared back then. 
if they were to make a house of money today, I'm sure they could do it, but like there would be they would have to like have somebody that's like within the house that's like against you know the boys being boys comments and the misogyny and all that. But it also is college. But college nowadays is like also heavily against mis like some colleges though, not every I don't think every college is are against misogyny and you know, men just being awful or like women being bitchy and stuff like that. I don't think like every college is like that, but like a lot of colleges in America are probably like let's not be dick <laughs> please, you know. Like they probably still are though, you know, behind closed doors, but like they won't be it like in front of a, uh, like a bunch of people's faces because a lot of people would be like no, don't do that that's not okay and talking about like you know women in a very disgusting and degrading way so if they were to make a movie about it it would have to it, they would they would try to like make it modern of today they would they would bring all the talks about politics and pop misogyny and um a lot of negative things and some positive things of today. They'll still keep it the same, but like the dressing up and everything would be for the women and not for the men and trying to get men to look at them and bring them to the parties and like get, you know, try to still be alive. I think they would try to do it in a different way, like the car wash thing. That they did in this movie. Maybe I don't think they would do the car wash. Hiring an archaic and they probably won't. Of the male fantasy. Oh, uh, well. Guys like We her. have her. And She's the modern us. <laughs> That's like, guys trying to be like male fantasy. That's what I'm saying. It's balance. Like, it's, it's very male gaze. But then they also have, like, some, a lot of female gaze aspect in this movie. Here could teach us how. Okay, look, don't get me wrong. I love... Like, Shelly is the poster child of male gays. And, um... The one next to her is <laughs> the poster child female gays. No, but oh my god, I forgot that she was in here. Oh, the broken premises, premises, premises. <laughs> I literally forgot that she was in here. She didn't have any lines, though. I Literally on, she had lines. Oh my god. And, um, I know she did this, but I just fucking, like, it came out of nowhere. Even though I know that she does that. And it's iconic. Gary Gary May. And then, uh, and then Joanne over there. Joanne. Joanne. Shelly, hi, where's your robe? Oh, I just like to air dry. Oh, she just like to air dry. Oh, God, <laughs> you're so vapid. Oh, my gosh, thank you so much. You're like the hundredth person who's told me that. Um... Shell? Back then, I did not know what vapid was either, so I thought it was a compliment until I researched what vapid was, and it's not a compliment. That's the whole, it's the whole fun part of it, is you can, like, put them in little outfits, like, little, you can make, like, an Abraham Lincoln mouse, and you can do, like, you can do, like, like, Joan of Arc. Why do everyone's eyes glaze over when I talk about this? Because it's boring, honey, and who the hell want to bring their own mouse? Like, half a pop popularity. Oh, God, I do not know how to talk. Half a popularity do not, do not like mouse. Do not. Do not. Car wash! Come get the car wash! Here we are, the I am so offended right now. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's give her a chance. No, sometimes you gotta have fun. Do what you gotta do. Car wash was a big thing in the early 2000s, too. Like, almost every movie did a hot, sexy car wash. Even the commercials did a hot, sexy car wash. Hey, Super Brace. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> hey, <-o. laughs> Fucking bitch. Well, I think we're done here, sexy bitches. Thank I mean, like, literally, they overdid it. They kind of overdid it. I mean, they always overdo it. Like, they overdid it with the hell. They're not like any other of these girls. They don't look nothing like them. They look really bad. <laughs> with the glasses and the brace. And, and why is somebody being pregnant in college makes him, like, be in the horrible bad house with full of nerds? 
I don't know if you guys can recognize this, but Shelly is meeting guys. And if she knows how to meet guys, then we will learn how to meet guys. Then more girls will want to hang out with us. Hence, more pledges. Yeah, hence. Okay, here's what we need to do. Why did they make her look like Chucky's and Tiffany's child? Remember Chucky's child? I think that's what the movie's called or whatever. But she, they made her look like... They really made her look like Chucky's child. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I f lie? We could tie our shoes together, our tennis shoes, and we could throw them over telephone wires. No. See that everywhere. It, fe it seems like people would have fun doing that. Like, how hard can you throw? You know what I mean? Like, how, what are you? <laughs> or we could go to a club. Yes. They straight up made her look like Chucky's child. Why? Oh, there's a big box of cuticles. Carrie May, go work your magic. The only magic I've ever done was trying to figure out a way to stay in college for nine years. And I remember watching this, and I was like, she looks like the girl from Shrek 2. I loved her because of that. Mm -hmm. You know where the crapper is? I have to drop off some timber. <laughs> oh, she like straight up look like her with the ponytail. I think that's what they were going for. Wait, did this show two came out before House Bunny? I think so. Hey, it's the Zetas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I feel like we never. Every time I see them, I'm always like in my mind, I'm always <laughs> want to scream, <laughs> "Fire with them, you to hell!" <laughs> I don't know why. That's like the most iconic line to me. Every time I remember about House Bunny, that word comes into my mind. Next up, Zetas singing <laughs> that like one, a <laughs> like a virgin for the very first time. Yeah. Oh my God, she is into that. I'm a house mother. A Zeta house mother. And I don't like some of the things you were saying. Because they do understand human talk. And you hurt their feelings. Shelly, come on. It's not worth it. Let's go. Yeah, you should go. It was so nice to see you. But I really so, so nice. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I do like it though. <laughs> I love saying it, but like, oh f them. So nice talking to you. But I so nice. You guys, I can make you way hotter than any old five iota mew. Oh my god, every time. I just want to say, <laughs> I want to be in the hell. If I thought you all were quitting, oh, my heart would just fall out of my head. Shelly, your heart is not in your head. Your heart has its own cavity, right under your fake boobs. I don't think that my heart is in my skull. What I mean is that sometimes logic tells you to do something, but you have to have part of your heart in it as well. My head and my heart tell me that we can save Zeta. We need 30 pledges, and I know just how to do it, by making you guys the hottest girls on campus. She is really sweet. Let's do this. There's no way those bitches are getting our house. The fact that she still looks hot, and they're trying to make her, like, this non-hot person by putting piercing in her face and cutting her hair that way, oh my god. Her hair is ugly. But she still looked good. Do they have to walk like that? I don't think that would be comfortable. Shelly moved to Africa to work with the orphans. It's always Africa in these movies. Even today. It's always Africa. Go to Africa. Go to Africa. You know there's other places, right? <laughs> Where just children's in need. And we, we have established that Africa is not that bad. Okay, yes, they do have places where there are children in need in Africa, but there are places in America where there's children in need too. But we don't view all of America as a disaster. Stop with this narrative. Set up here. <laughs> we should totally have a mixture with you guys sometime. No. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. Chew and swallow, girl. Excuse me? Why'd you fart? <laughs> Did I do what? Fart. <laughs> it's such a childish joke, but it's funny. My, am I a virgin? No. You're a virgin! Oh my Shelby. god. Is that juicy? Yeah, I love their stuff. It's a shame nobody would be able to see it, you know, under my brace. Well, when can you take the brace off? 2004, actually. It's, it's all indented into me, and, you know, if, if I took it off, I wouldn't even know what would possibly happen. My spine could be like a noodle, and whoo! No, I'm, I'm really good. I'm good. Shouldn't she have gone to the doctor to take it off? Then wouldn't they tell her to come back to the doctor that applied it on to take it off? She couldn't just keep it on. I love that they're referenced for us. I don't think that would would happen. Okay, I need to not take this movie serious. It's not meant to be serious. <laughs> she has a screwdriver in her hand. You're scaring me. My heart's pounding like a nail. What? Like a nail gun? <laughs> like I'm going to let a hoary little tart like you stand in the way of the fire I have on you. Don't Girl, I'm sure you were whore in college. Don't mess with me. Oh my god, the music. I love the music. I think I only like these music because it's nostalgia. <laughs> I don't think I actually like them because I like them. This is an Aztec party. You know, this, so the statues don't really fit because those are from Easter Island. They're just like 2,000 miles away, as you probably know, in Polynesia. Wait, you know, Natalie, like a... you're too smart. Boys don't like girls that are too smart. Mm. Right. Some boys. Boys that can't take the smartness. Don't dumb yourself down for nobody, girls. If they can't take your smartness, then they can't take you. Clanging. But anyway, wow. Who knew steam can be hot? Yeah, that's... Everybody else. I wonder what they did when Marilyn Monroe did it. Not you, Steam. They probably added soothing botanicals to the steam rising from the manhole. I, I like that word. Manhole. <laughs> you probably didn't use steam, honey. May I just get the one mahi? Because I'm not that hungry? Oh my god. That is a quote to use. Why have I forgot that? There's so many nice quotes in there that I forgot. I'm gonna do that one day. I'm be like, is that a the Mahi Mahi? Can I get the one Mahi? Because I'm not that hungry. <laughs> they probably look at me like I'm stupid. Oh, they probably get it and laugh and be like, how it's funny. Wait! Your biceps are huge! Kiss me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he likes me. He didn't fall for any of my tricks. Oh, oh, your tricks that? that's, that's, true. True. that's impossible. Your tricks always work. Well, not on every guy. What if Oliver is one of those guys who wants to have like a conversation with a girl before he hooks up with her? He's gay. Oh my god. So I have to learn things about things and stuff about topics. Well, you don't have to learn anything. You just have to be you. So oh my god, this song, this song is this movie, okay? When I listen to the song, I think of this movie. This song is the movie. Finding myself making every possible mistake. La 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 that's a lot of books. How did she even get into college? And where did she get the money? <laughs> because she don't have a scholarship. Like she just like walk into these classes and just sit down and they don't say anything. But you can't even tell I have boobs. She don't have to dress you know, you like think that. I show them a little something? Like give them a little philanthropy? I don't have to dress like that. These glasses don't make me dizzy or anything. Elucidate on that. <laughs> Her eyes look f***ing huge in those classes. Definitely won't listen to what Simon says. He is just so mean. I usually always agree with Paula and Randy. Oh. I used to not like Simon when I was younger either. 
I thought he was so rude. But then when I got, like, older, I was like, you know what? Simon is just honest. You know? He is a judge. He's there to judge them. And if he doesn't think that they're good enough, you can't be like, oh, you need more. Sometimes you just gotta tell people you're horrible. You can't sing. You just cannot. Let me get some more napkins. So it's okay, really. I think... Oh, 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 oh. oh God. Uh, Are you all right? Oh. Hi. And that better be attached to some fake-ass suspensions, because getting gum out of your hair is not easy. At all. I had gum in my hair once. Fucking... Ugh. <laughs> now that, like... <laughs> Stuff just comes to my head in my memory bank out of nowhere sometimes. Now that I mention about the gum, boom, a memory unlocked. I was in elementary school, and I think it was third grade, I think. And this f girl, I don't know what was her problem. She didn't like me for some reason. I don't know. I don't really remember. But I remember she put gum in my hair. She put fucking gum in my hair. And it was so hard to take out that gum out of my hair. My mom wanted to cut my hair and I was like, no, because I was in the phase of like, I want my hair to be super long, like Rapunzel and everything. That was before, I think, I don't really know. Sometimes my mind and memories doesn't add up. <laughs> okay, because like when you remember things, I'm just like, wait, was it that time? Was it when that movie came out? But I remember I wanted my hair to be like super long at that era of time. And my mom wanted to cut my hair and I was like, no, do not cut my hair. And I had to stay up all night with my mom taking out gum from my hair. Because that bitch put gum in my hair. I think she was just a mean person. I don't know. She was just like rude to me heavily. And I remember one time, I think I pushed her. <laughs> I think I think I pushed her down the stairs the next day. Not it wasn't like a long ass stair. It was a very short stair. And so no people are thinking that I fucking push her down like three flights of stairs and she died or something. It wasn't that long of a sta a step. It was like probably four steps. It was four steps, three at most, and I pushed her down the steps because she put gum in my hair. And it was like an elementary school. It was either third grade or the second grade. But I remember, I remember that vividly that that happened. I remember a girl put a gum in my hair. You found my weakness. Use it against me like kryptonite. That's never gonna happen again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hatman. Wow. That's not like shield his weakness. Ah, uh, this scene. He just went into like a horrible. Well, the date wasn't horrible. I mean, it was. The guy wasn't horrible, but the date was horrible. And then she comes home, and these girls are yelling at her. I remember this scene. I remember I was like, fuck you, bitches, when I watched it for the first time. She tried her best, okay? And she actually got you guys the pledges. She did a f***ing grand job. Heva, I'm so sorry. I'm so happy that you called me. And I love you, but I don't think I can do it. I can't leave my Zeta girls. What? I'm not going anywhere. Until they were like a b**** you and start yelling at you. For their actions. Hi, everybody. I'm home. This is all your fault. You know what? Before you got here, we were individuals. You've turned us all into stupid bimbos. Yeah. Thank you guys for everything. I'm gonna go, and I really hope to see you guys in the future. Hi, Hef, it's Jelly. I was just kidding. Now you should get her clothes. I can't wait get her to be back at the So, we'll be half Shelly and half who we really are. Can we be 60% Shelly? I mean, say what you want about her, but the girl has style. Nobody says anything bad about her but you, girl. Like... I want to be your girlfriend more than an electron wants to attach to a proton. Don't know what that means, but okay. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm Shelly. Oh my god. I have something to say. Well, I'm allergic to erythromycin. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, do you know that feeling that I'm talking about? <laughs> you suddenly feel pretty, and but underneath that beautiful glowing skin, I still had that cold. Well, that's a meteor. The word is metaphor. No. Can you really be? That she mean meteor. But One more. Get your hand up. Come on, be a Zeta. Come on. Come on. Come on, one more! Just one more! One more, Zeta! One more! One more! Come on! He is really into it. There's one more new Zeta! This is so ridiculous. Like, where did you come from? The hospital would never. Would never. No. no. Do you know how sick to death I am of you? A fire out of you? Fire out of you to hell! Oh my god, I love her line. You know how sick I am of I owe you? I mean, if I owe you to hell! Okay, can you pledge to another house when you're already in a house? What are we supposed to do now? Let's start with this. You like physically <laughs> hit her boobs. Yeah. Your boobs have muscle in it, it hurts to hit your. Like, she's like physically punch her boobs like this. Like, wow. <laughs> Why did she get to come? And uh, what about the other girls that pledged? Because I moved to Peru and left him a note. Actually, he didn't really move to Peru. I know that, but he doesn't. Well, he walks by your house a lot. You sure, oh, okay. You sure will see him. <laughs> but yeah, I, he did I show up. Just, I never went to Peru. I know. Thank you. Like, we could see. And I was in Playboy. Yep. I know that too. Oh, and the Zetas decided to throw a big party in my honor. And I felt just like that girl from the storybook. You know the one. What's her name? Oh, yeah. Cinderella. <laughs> oh my god oh my god this music needs to be reintroduced into society <laughs> like it's ridiculous but the fact that all of them literally made a song for the ending it should be iconic this should be iconic it should be reintroduced to society this should be mainstream. Like Emma Stone sang around. <laughs> Zeppity Zap, I think. I don't know what the fuck she said. But she said that. Oh, God, I love this movie. <laughs> so that is it of House Bunny. And I really liked it and enjoyed it. I'm like such an oily person. I hate it. I like it sometimes because it gives me this glow effect that I love. Sometimes when I go into the bathroom and look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, I'm glowing. But then half of the time I go because I'm super, super, super oily. Like, look, I just like patted all this oil out of my face and it's still glowing. Like, it's always my cheeks, my forehead. Do you see that glow? Do you, do you see that glow? It's like glowing light reflects off my face like even when i pat down oil it reflects i i don't like it very much because it gives me so much oil sometimes i do like it when i look at myself in the mirror i'm like oh my god i'm glowing look at this glow look at this reflection everywhere i go it reflects i'm glowing but then when it becomes like hot hot like really hot i overly glow overly just so much oil coming out of my f pores that well thank you for watching that little ted talk 
um thank you for watching this reaction if you guys love this reaction please give this a thumbs up to help me with my algorithm and if you guys want to see more of me hit that subscribe button and comment down below anything you like about house bunny and share if you want to share my videos share it with people share it with anybody share it everywhere <laughs> and thank you again for watching this and fucking viewing my weirdness and overthinking and rambling self and that's it